Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new version of the Imagine for Grand Design. This is the 2021 Imagine XLS series model 23BHE. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. And again, today I'm super excited to be taking a look at this Grand Design Imagine. It's the XLS, it's not a regular Imagine series. And I'm just super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. We're here in Wix of Michigan. At headquarters. At corporate. And you know what, you guys? I'm really excited because we get to see all kinds of RVs that we don't get to see normally. Yes, very exciting. And I'm really excited about this one. Let's begin. Model is 23 BHE, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 27 feet, 11 inches. Now this is the Grand Design Imagine XLS, okay? That means it's extra lightweight, okay? Um, so it's not like your typical Grand Design Imagine like that one over there, that can get up there on the heavy side. The dry weight on this travel trailer, Andrea, is only 5,466 pounds. And Andrea, do you know the vertical pin weight? Yes, the is hitch it? weight is 509 pounds. 509 pounds, very awesome. Right up here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. I love that. I love how that's a standard as well. I hate when they put the uh, crank jacks. Right here, you do have two 20 pound propane tanks. And then check this out. It's a nice black diamond plate right here in a smooth side. Unfortunately, you can't buy this one because it's already sold. But it's okay because we can still show it right over here check that out we have nice passive storage and look at that motion sensor lighting right there that is very cool manual stabilizing jacks i'm not mad, mad at those those actually work better than a lot of the electric stabilizing jacks you just take a cord and go pew, 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 pew. as you can see no frameless windows trying to stay lightweight and you do have a nice huge power awning with led lights let's take a look at that when it's all the way out Wow. Look at that. Nice big power awning with LED lights. And Andrea, look, it's the awning that pinches. So we go like this and look, now we're, well, maybe not. We'll get that taken care of. <laughs> cool. Look at this, you have these nice aluminum steps. I'm not a fan of these. I like the fold down steps, but these aluminum steps are at least better. And again, they are trying to at least uh, stay at a certain weight. Okay, we got speakers on the outside right there. Right here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable, potable. And then check out these tires. Oh man, they're the Super ST tires, Andrea. 205-75R14, okay. Coax if you wanna watch TV on the outside and then look at this. Oh wow. Yep, does have a little outdoor kitchen. You have a refrigerator right there. And right here is a little cooktop. I like that. And a mini fridge, that's fantastic. Yep, just enough. Again, nice entry level, lightweight camper. And right there's a spray port if you do want an outdoor shower. Coming around the back, you got a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 30 amp power with your 30 amp power cord right there. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. You can actually uh, get those down in the description below. Also, we have a ladder to get up on the roof. Let's go, take a look. Here we go now. Hold on. Up here on the roof, you can see that it has, oh wow, look at that air conditioning unit. Nice low profile air conditioning. Right there you have your wine guard digital antenna. Is that prep for solar up there? Um, no. Oh, that must be for your awning or something. And right there you can see your max air fans. Okay, hold on. See, I do not like this ladder. Yeah. Take your time. All right, you're coming on the last step there. Great. And if you haven't already, 
Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do the RV salesman go take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Let's finish up right here. Black and gray tank dump. I like that. Look at the elevation of it. It's easy to get to. I don't need to be rolling down on the ground. You have your tank poles right there. Black tank flush, which is going to help clean your black tank uh, from sediment. And then look at that. That must be a second place just to clean uh, maybe like a second gray tank. Not really sure what that is. Leave down in the comments below if you know what that is. And then look at this. You have your water hookup. I like how it's all enclosed. Outdoor shower, TV, cable, satellite hookup and everything. Well, Andrea, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Yes, he does skip in Michigan. Okay. Come on in. Okay, I like this. Wow. Let's see the bathroom. Bathroom's pretty spacey. And the bedroom. Master bedroom. Let's see. Great. Now while I'm putting this uh, awning in because it is a little bit windy, if you could please guys leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Imagine XLS and three things you don't like about it. Uh, we did just bring back the Matt's RV Reviews Towable channel. So the more comments and feedback, the more support we get from you guys, the better off we'll be. You know, with support and everything. Let's start up front in the bedroom. In the bedroom, very spacious, believe it or not. I like that. We have these nice, oh, again, they're doing the Euro. I like how they continue the cabinetry in the XLS series as well. Don't you? Yes. You have your little nooks on the side there. USB ports back there, electrical outlets. Nice headboards. We have some drawers in drawers, okay? And uh, look at this door, it's nice. Would you call that farmhouse? No. What would you call that? Beach uh, house? Uh, no, this, I wouldn't, I don't know. It's Cabin just a house? It's a regular pocket door. Pancake uh, house? They're trying to do the Euro look in here. Yep. So it's definitely not a farmhouse. So or... Euro house. Kind of. But the Hobbit house. <laughs> okay, Hobbit house. Hobbit house. Is there storage under the bed? Let's see. Let's find out. Yes. There sure is. Wow. And that looks good. Okay. And I guess you could mount your TV over here, guys. Yep, you sure can. Let me show that. Nice. Cool. Over here in the living room area, there is no sofa, you know, but you do have this dinette. As you can see, it does drop down to make a bed. We have your nice slanted cabinetry. Notice how it's a little bit slanted, Andrea. Yes. So um, if somebody's under the dinette, they're not going to hit their head. You have your nice privacy blinds right there. These windows do open up for nice cross ventilation. Oop. And I didn't even show what's going on over here. Here's your control panel, a little bit more storage and everything. Right there. Yes. Well, Andrea, oh, and then look at this. We got your t uh, TV right here. It is the TLC TV with Roku. TCL. TCL TV <laughs> with Roku. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $30,249 MSRP. Sale price, do you know what it is? No, I don't. Neither do I. You know <laughs> why? Because Grand Design won't let us advertise sale price on this unit. But if you're interested in it, there's a couple things you can do. Andre, what you can do is you can go to generalrv.com. We have links down in the description below and click get lowest price. But first, you need to make sure you tell them that you saw it on Matt's RV reviews. That way we can help get you, my team can help get you the best price. Or if you're near Jacksonville, Florida, I can also help you get a best price on this unit. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay. 
Look at this kitchen. You know, I'm really liking these these zero style cabinets, just the uh -huh. whole look. I love it. There's an extension here. Very nice. Nice counter space, nice sink. Big sink. Great size. I like that there's a window here. You do have a shade. Very contemporary. Yes. Uh, we have a plenty of Holy space there. Smokes. Oh my goodness, for a trash can. Yeah, and more. Huge. I mean, yeah. that's big. We got a microwave up here. Very nice. Uh-huh. Got the Furion three burner cooktop. And the Furion oven. That's a combo. Yes. And you got your camp style fridge that runs off your propane and shore power. Two way fridge, propane and, and electric. What I like about this as well is I really like this pantry. Look at this. Uh huh. Isn't that great? It is. I like it. For such a small travel trailer, oh this, this is pretty spacious. This is spacious. Yes. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really liking this look. Yeah. <laughs> the look looks great. The look looks great. And then check this out. We have two nice bunk beds, double over the double. It is the Teddy Bear series. You see that right there? I remember that. Yep, teddy bear, real nice, comfortable, good size. And then Andrea, look at this. And you have privacy curtains there. And you know what, everybody? You can sleep adults up here. Right, well, I wouldn't say up there, but definitely down there. Yeah, I mean, it's just nice that they're the bigger bunks. Yes, and then we do got storage underneath oh, there. Oh, I like that. Yep, also notice how the heat duct's not in the floor. Fan of that. And then into the bathroom, wow. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> This is such a small travel trailer. I know. Bathroom Look is big. Look at this shower. This is a 30 by 36 shower. I know. I love it. Pull this. the Nautilus door. I like that they put the Nautilus door in there. This is awesome. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I I'm love gonna it. I'm going to show this medicine cabinet. Uh-huh. Very nice. I like that there's a window in here. Yes, ma'am. And look at this, Matt. They even put little cubbies in there. Nice. And this does look like it's a porcelain toilet porcelain on my bomb. Andrea, I did not expect this. I truly didn't. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! And I'm so proud of them for managing to do this in such a small unit. And putting a porcelain toilet in here with yeah. it being it's supposed to be a light series. I love it. I love it. You know, Grand Design did a fantastic job. And you got a cabinet under there. And Andrea, as great of a job that they've done, you know what time it is. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Um, let's do three things we dislike about it. See, I was hoping you wouldn't say that because that's going to be a little tough. Of course it is. Um, so I'm going to go first. First thing I don't like about this trailer is I don't like the TV placement. It's kind of like, honestly, you want to know what I'm about to say? I'd rather have it not even have a TV than have it just right here because the only it could have went over here well, somewhere. Well, no, but the slide out. I don't that's have true. A good that's solution, true. The slide out. But you know, I it's just a horrible TV placement. But again, with this camper, it's small, it's lightweight. You do have the availability availability to have a TV on the outside, and it's for camping. You're not watching. TV, exactly. So At least that there is a TV. Yep. Exactly. So that's one, two. Andrea? <laughs> I don't know. I I was looking at it earlier and I had a dislike but I forgot it already. Was it inside or outside? It was it, it was definitely inside and I just can't think of it. Um Well, I mean, do you like the cushions for the dinette? Yeah, that doesn't bother me at oh, all. Okay. I mean the only thing I would say is and this is just me reaching you guys okay we're, we're reaching we're going out there i don't like this table i don't like the color of it i think it would look a lot better in here with their interior if they had maybe like a lighter wood color well i'm gonna combo that i do not like that cushion that plaid look it kinda, that that yeah, it doesn't, flannel look it doesn't really go with the euro, euro. Style. exactly yeah. exactly but that's like i said we're reaching i mean it is the right color but it's not the right style um especially with it doing like like look at this this would have been a better design than um that. Yes. So that's two, and then three, I am gonna say up here. Oh, we did forget to mention, this does have the Arctic installation four season package. Which means you have a heat and an enclosed underbelly. Right. So number three, I, I don't like what's going on here. It's not the fiberglass cap, it's a cheaper version. And again, I, I, I know why they're doing that. Um, it's but, to make it lighter. Right, but yeah. like, I, I don't even like these. Ha if you're not gonna do it, don't do it. Don't make it look like you're doing it, if that makes sense. Does that make sense or yes. no? Yes. Okay, 
cool. So that's three things we don't like about it. <laughs> that was tough. And again, guys, we, we're kind of reaching on this because it is pretty well designed. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Andrea, do you want to go first? Sure. Oh, okay. Okay. So, obviously... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I go first just because we can stay outside? Okay. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I He's love, crazy. No, I love this small travel trailer and I love how they give you this outside kitchen. Yes. It's a small, great Absolutely. travel trailer for people with SUVs or GMC Canyons or Colorados or Ford Rangers. They can't tow a lot and the, for you still get this outside kitchen, TV center so, and big awning. I love that. It's a great floor plan. So that's one. Okay. So you know what I really like about this? Talk to me. The fact that this is a lightweight trailer and it is smaller. They still give you so much storage space in here. And the space. It doesn't feel tiny. It's crazy. Yes. I mean, I'm in love with this pantry because I've been in a lot of travel trailers, and this is just great. And the styling of it looks yes. good and everything. I mean, Yes, absolutely. And and even, even that angle of the dangle right there of that top <laughs> cabinetry is amazing. You ready for number three? Yes. Why are you opening that door? Because I know you're going to say that. That's shower. not my number three. Okay. I'm just kidding. See? This whole I know bathroom. what he's thinking before he even says it. This whole bathroom is my number three, y'all. Uh, because that's my number two, and this is my number three. You know, uh, I love this 30 by 36 shower in a small travel trailer. I love the porcelain toilet on my bum. I love how it's at a great angle, so it's a prime pooping position. Even this little sink and cabinetry and the light. And everything about this shower is absolutely freaking amazing. And again, to multiply it by it being such a small travel trailer, I absolutely love that. Well, Andre, let's step outside. Yes, it's much cooler out there. <laughs> well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the travel trailer, please feel free to reach out to me. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. If you guys have any questions uh, about this travel trailer, again, reach out to me or make sure you guys go to generalrv.com. And if you click get lowest price, uh, I do have a link if you're watching on a computer and make sure you say you saw it on Matt's RV reviews. That is going to be the only way you get the type of price. That that way I'm involved in your deal and I'm able to help you get that awesome price. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Van Design does read the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. Um, also, make sure you check out our keychains because we will only be selling them for the whole month of September. Yep. And when that's over, it's over because we're doing it in a bulk. Awesome. And also, uh oh, you guys, when you do click on the links and you do go through General RV, um, we are doing a program where you will get some kind of compensation or mat money. Mat money, something. Yes. We're still figuring that part out, but you know, you be in contact with me or them, and we will let you know. That way we can keep track. That's and right. Keep track and of take you. care of you guys. Take care of you. And I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.